So a few years ago, I was uh, watching on TV the London Olympics. And I realized, I sort of noticed, all of the journalists would ask all of the athletes the same question. Were you nervous or are you nervous? And astonishingly, all the athletes gave the exact same answer. No, I was excited. In other words, if you think about what the characteristics of nervousness is, right? What are the, the characteristics of, the, of nervousness are? I should probably get my grammar right to <laughs> scholars like yourselves. <laughs> I know you thought it. <laughs> Subject verb agreement, Simon. I got it. So if you think about what the characteristics of nervousness are, right? Your heart starts pounding. Your hands may get a little clammy. You start thinking ahead about what will happen. Well, what are the characteristics of excitement? Your heart starts pounding. Your hands may get a little clammy. You start looking forward to what may happen. In other words, it's the exact same thing. And what these elite athletes had done, either naturally or they trained themselves to do, was to interpret nerves as excitement. So, of course, I tested it. I was on a plane, and it got really bumpy. And I gripped the seat, and I got nervous. And I said out loud to myself, this is exciting. <laughs> and I felt fine. So you're going to face some of the biggest challenges of your life as you go forward. You think this was the hard stuff. This was the easy stuff. So before you see anything, as you're going for your bagel, and you start to get nervous, just remind yourself, this is exciting. Perspective matters. The United States Navy SEALs are considered one of the most elite forces in the world, one of the highest performing groups of people on the planet. To become a Navy SEAL, they have to go through something called BUDS, which is a multi-month selection process which destroys their bodies, and the vast majority of people will drop out and never become SEALs because it is so aggressive. A former SEAL was asked, what kind of person makes it through BUDS? And the SEAL responded, I can't tell you the kind of people that make it through, but I can tell you the kind of people that don't make it through. He said, the preening leaders who like to delegate everything, none of those guys make it through. He said, the star college athletes who've never really been tested to the core of their being, none of those guys make it through. He said the guys that show up with bulging muscles covered in tattoos who want to show everybody how tough they are, none of those guys make it through. He said some of the guys who become SEALs are skinny and scrawny. He said some of the guys who become SEALs, you will actually see them shivering out of fear. He said, but there's one thing they all have in common. He said when they're emotionally exhausted, when they're physically exhausted, when they have absolutely nothing left to give, every single one of them is able to dig down deep inside of themselves to find the energy to help the guy next to them. Those are the guys that become SEALs. In other words, the highest performing teams on the planet, they're not the strongest, they're not the smartest, they're not the fastest. The highest performing teams on the planet are the ones who give to each other selflessly. They commit themselves to taking care of each other. And this is what makes a great team. Never forget, you are here because someone took care of you, and you have a responsibility to take care of others. This is what makes you great. This is the core of leadership.